We are just entering Rabbit Lake Road. We're going to try to go out to Moose Head mm -hmm. and uh, see if we can... There's supposed to be uh, pike and pickerel in there, so we'll go after those. So we'll, we'll take you along, we'll do some fishing, and maybe I'll cook a nice little lunch here. Yep, should be fun. Should be fun. All right, we're at Moosehead Lake. And I guess the first step is to go over the uh, snowbank here and check to see what the ice condition is. Now this has been a strange year, so I don't trust the ice. So not to mention, I've never been on this lake before. And when we were driving up this way, there was a spot that was like blatantly open. <laughs> so it looks kind of... Looks like there's people have been walking here not that long ago. Yeah, could be. So we'll go and see. I'm just saying, I'll spot it out just oh, to... Oh, for sure. We're going to be safe about it. Yes. Tons of snow. What's that? Tons of snow and slush. Have you been able to go through? No. Uh oh. Oh, did you fry your drill? <laughs> it's not handy dandy, is it? Gee, there's tons of ice here. That's how much ice is up here. Oh, what is that, like 14 inches? 18? Drive a car on this hour north. <laughs> You want a beer, hoser? <laughs> <laughs> we got a Moosehead Canadian Lager for Moosehead Lake. Yeah. What? <laughs> Open it up with your teeth. <laughs> this is skunky as I remember. Cheers, yeah, it is. Woo. Woo! Yeah, that's okay. It's okay, Walker. Yeah. Probably been here a couple hours. Rob's up there by the truck and off to the side of the road there. He's starting to make our uh, late lunch, early dinner. Um, what is the name for that? There's brunch for breakfast slash lunch. What is lunch slash dinner? 
<laughs> if there is a name, let me know in the dis in the uh, comments. So anyway, I'm I'm manning all the uh, the fishing holes here, and I got a couple nibbles. Rob got a couple nibbles earlier while he was down here, and I've changed my lure out. This is my third time now because there's tons of fish, but nobody seems to want to bite. So you can see all the fishies down there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a uh, another type of beef stew, but uh, this time I'm going to actually improvise a bit. So I'm going to use uh, a little bit of red wine. I'm going to get some uh, nice veggies with it, some garlic, and uh, I'm going to use fish crisp, believe it or not, for the browning of the meat. So uh, I'm just going to start by cutting up some ingredients, and then I'm going to rig up something in the bush. Uh, not sure if I'll put together a tripod or I'll cook it uh, right on top of the uh, the charcoal. But anyway, this is the beauty of a Dutch oven. Well guys, after hours, I got this guy. <laughs> I'm pretty sure he's a little small perch. I'm gonna let him go. I'll put you back in the hole. Go down, yep, he's gone. I bet you there's hundreds of those down there and that's what I'm seeing on the fish finder. Uh, I hope not. Hopefully there's somebody else bigger down there. Because those perch aren't even big enough to eat. Not much bigger than my minnow. Oh. Oh. Don't be afraid to make it chunky. It's gonna... gonna be in there a while. Onions. Yeah, I need to be more cheap. Baby, you can't be high and high. You go Okay, so here's the idea. A uh, little tripod. And I'm gonna start my uh, my chimney up. I'm gonna leave it in the chimney, actually. And I'm gonna hang the cast iron over top of that. Uh, I will use it as a chimney and also as a, uh, a fire source, too. So I'll load this up with the briquettes, get a little bit of birch bark, and uh, this should be A-OK. -okay.
let that get uh, burnt off there and I'll throw the uh, cast iron on it then. Well, as the uh, charcoal is getting uh, heated up, I'll uh, finish cutting the garlic up and uh, yeah, it's right around 2.30 now, so I'm getting kind of hungry. So hopefully that charcoal will, will uh, get going here. Um, I like to cook that down because that stuff, that match, easy light stuff, is right full of uh, um, gas, hey? Okay, that's set up there. Yep, bushcraft, bungee cord. That's hard to find out in the woods. All right, so hopefully this will uh, get a little more heat here. Not much coming into this. Weird, summertime this works really well. You know, maybe I'm just rushing it. So I'll let it do its thing and then uh, we'll come back to it. What I have right now going on is uh just got the uh the fat fat pieces in there so when that gets hot enough that should uh, render that fat down to make some oil for frying up the rest of it just gonna head on over here and see how Rob's handling things over there at the outdoor kitchen since uh, I'm pretty sure I know what I've got over there is just a pile of tiny little wee perches um, oh it's cold I can smell what you're cooking way out on the ice. Yeah? Yeah. You can have that. Bye, little fishy. Yeah. Got all of our camping goodies here. Got our bottle of wine. I'm gonna go back and join Rob.
So uh, I haven't added the peppers yet, but everything else is in there. So I'm going to add a little splash of red wine. Um, then I'm going to add some salt and pepper to it to taste. And uh, yeah, there's not a whole lot of heat here. So normally this is pretty hot. So <laughs> I don't know because it's cold out or probably winter. Yeah, winter makes a difference. But uh, anyway, uh, it's a little bit slow, but it's uh, it's it's still working. Oh, that, eh? Peppers. I don't know if you can see any of this. Ooh. A lot of steam. See it? Yep. Yeah? Good. Okay. So, you don't have to do this, but um, you can put a little cream in there too if you want. It'll uh, make a nice thick sauce. Probably rich enough for me. All the good stuff in the bottom. Put any uh, pepper or anything in there yet? Just a little bit of salt that I had on the uh, meat. And put it in. And put some nice brown pepper in here. A little bit of fluid cell. Good though. Mm -hmm. oh, this is gonna be so good. Delicious. Enough for leftovers tomorrow? Probably not much, eh? Mm, we have one serving left. <laughs> really sink in there, eh? Mm -hmm. All right, cheers. Cheers. Thanks for cooking again. Whew. Well. I don't think there's anything better than cooking with cast iron. Okay? It lasts forever. Mm-hmm. The meat is tender too, eh? Mm hmm.
So, out of ten, what do you rate this? I'm not, I'm not playing this game. <laughs> Mm -hmm. This is probably like an eight and a half or a nine, this one. Certainly this is higher than the baby perch. Yeah. That was your job to catch a pike as I'm doing this. I know, but I didn't. <laughs> Unfortunately.